It isn't easy being a Christian today, is it? It might mean you're rejected because you aren't going along with the rest of the world. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and those thoughts came to me today because it's a feast in honor of 22 young African men who died rather than sin. One was only 13, and another was a Muslim who became a Christian. And they were all killed in terrible ways because their ruler, King Mwanga of what is now Uganda, demanded that they engage in homosexual practices with him. It wasn't easy being a Christian in 19th century Uganda, and it really isn't easy today either. You may not be faced with such life-threatening choices as these young men were. Their choice to be Christian and follow the commandments led to their torture and death. They gave up their physical lives and found eternal life in heaven. You may not be faced with choices that will lead to persecution and death like them, but you'll still be faced with choices that can kill your spiritual life, that can separate you from God, the source of eternal life. Every one of us is in the middle of a battle between good and evil, morality or immorality. That's why I, I like a prayer that appears in the breviary today. We are warriors now, fighting on the battlefield of faith, and God sees all we do. The angels watch, and so does Christ. What honor and glory and joy to do battle in the presence of God. Let us arm ourselves in full strength and prepare ourselves for the ultimate struggle with blameless hearts, true faith, and unyielding courage.